Chef owner Rick Mahan crafts his delicious fresh gnocchi by hand. It's a care that goes not just into his dishes, but also his restaurant, Waterboy. Tonight, they open at 25% capacity indoors, the first time in months. A welcome bit of relief with so much wildfire smoke in the air. We have had nights where we actually closed the restaurant down because the smoke was so bad. People, if they're keeping an eye on it too, and if they feel like the air quality is going to be uh, an issue for them, they cancel their reservation. You can smell the smoke outside right now. It's just another challenge that local businesses like this one are forced to deal with as they work to fill seats during this age of COVID-19. Oh, of course, yeah. If, if, uh, if, if there was no smoke, I would love to be outside and breathe the fresh air. This customer glad to enjoy his steak tartare indoors. Here, you know, I do feel safe. The staff is always masked and I, you know, there's a shield here, so it's great. But with indoor seats so limited, some still choose to sit outside, if only to hold on to some sense of normalcy. At this point, we've been inside for COVID for a very long time. Um, we're choosing to support our local restaurants and uh, get outside and enjoy life a little bit. It definitely has been a challenging year. Management at Hook and Ladder saying they make daily adjustments to staffing based on the air quality of the day. We have some gains some weeks when the air quality is good and the, we can see blue skies and then we have weeks that we have to tighten up the belt when uh, we look out and we see orangey skies and haze. They're looking at a 60% reduction in overall sales so far this year. And we've had uh, staff members affected by the fires and air quality. People just relocated or having to evacuate. Yet despite the challenges of the year, those in hospitality here in downtown Sacramento say they're still the lucky ones. Let's face it, at least we have an opportunity here to ply our trade. And that's not the case in a lot of places. You know, we're not on fire. Reporting from Sacramento, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News.